Book 1, Proposition 12 of Euclid's Elements is a construction proof that again focuses on perpendicular lines. So to a given infinite straight line from a given point which is not on it to draw a perpendicular straight line. So what this means is that if we have some line that's infinite in length, in this case the line AB, and we have some point C, we want to construct a line between the line AB and this point C such that the two lines are perpendicular. Or in other words, that both of these angles right here are right angles. So to start this proof, what we first have to do is to pick some random point on the other side of this line AB, which we can call D, and then we want to create a circle with point C as the center and the line CD as the radius of the circle. And remember, we can do this because of postulate number three, which says that we can create a circle with any center and any radius. So let's draw that circle. And now we can label where the circle intersected our line AB. We can label these points here as the point E and the point F. And then using book one, proposition 10, we want to bisect the line EF at some point here, which we'll call point G. So essentially, the line E to G is equal to the line G to F. And from here, we can use postulate number one, which says that we can connect any two points with a straight line. And we can use this postulate to create lines between C and E, C and G, and C and F. So we've just constructed the line CE, CG, and CF. So let's take a closer look at the two triangles CEG and CFG. And we know that the line EG and GF are equal to each other. And we also know that CE and CF are equal to each other since they're both radii of the circle. And then each of these triangles shares this third side here. So by book one, proposition number eight, or essentially the side, side, side theorem, we know that these two triangles are exactly equal to each other. And since the triangles are equal to each other, we know that the angles within the triangles are equal as well. So more specifically, this angle here, EGC, is equal to this angle here, FGC. So angle EGC is equal to angle FGC. And if we take a look at definition number 10 of Euclid's 23 definitions, we know that if we have two lines where one line is coming off the other line, essentially like this, and if this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other, then we know that both of these angles are right angles and the two lines are perpendicular. And since in our case, these two angles are equal to each other, we know that both of these angles have to be right angles. And again, this is due to this definition number 10. And since these are both right angles, the lines CG and AB are perpendicular. So we can write that, that the line AB is perpendicular to the line GC. And that finishes our construction.